And uh, our next presenter is uh, BioCellian. Hi, I'm Simon Kahn, uh, founder of Biocellion. Um, last year or so, we um, interviewed quite a number of companies in clean meat, um, eight just in the last couple of months. And the common thread seems to be that one of their great challenges they see ahead is to design the products that meet customers' needs, their desires, that balance a, a whole bunch of different properties, texture, cooking qualities, marbling, nutrition, and so on. And, and doing that is going to require a lot of prototyping. They're going to have to prototype and get their product just right prior to mass production. So the problem is that laboratory prototyping is pretty slow. Experiments in the laboratory, they take time. It takes several weeks to a month just to grow maybe a millimeter worth of tissue at best. Um, and during that time, you have to attend, attend to these experiments. You've got to do work to get the results out, to do the measurements. Um, and, and you create a certain amount of waste at the end of it, or at least you've wasted your, your ingredients. So the time to market depends upon this learning process um, which is limited by how fast you can perform those experiments. Now, you might think that to reduce risk, you'd like to get your product to market faster, so you pursue multiple paths. But now you've got an increased cash burn rate because every experiment costs you money. So you look at that product of those, those two, the cash burn rate and the time to market, that, that pretty much determines your expense of getting to market. They have an, a multiplicative effect. Now, suppose we could reduce the time to market of the experimental uh, time by an order of magnitude, a factor of 10. Maybe we could reduce the cost by a factor of 10 or 100. So all in all, we might be able to reduce the total expense by a factor of 1,000. Wouldn't that be great? That's what we think we can do with computer-aided design. We want to bring computer-aided design to clean meat to design faster, cheaper experiments. And here's an example. Um, this is, uh, we, we did this as a, for one of our clients, growing skin tissue um, virtually to match a laboratory experiment they were performing. Three weeks of virtual skin and a day of computer time cost less than $25. Um, and of course, the computing, computing is getting cheaper and cheaper, so this is getting get better and better. So that's a factor of, whoops, well, we'll just jump right to the uh, skin tissue growth here. So this is a scaffold at the bottom there. There's progenitor cells becoming keratinocytes. All of the, the chemistry, the biology, the mechanics of the cells pushing against each other as they rise, and they go from keratinocytes to corneocytes, where they flatten out and they uh, release lipids um, into, the, into the skin tissue, and then they die. Reach homeostasis, we validated this against physical experiments, um, and now we can perform an experiment on that tissue. Imagine you're pushing your thumb down on top, we want to test the elasticity of skin, that's a measure of skin health. And you can see it bounces back. So we're able to perform experiments on our grown tissue. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> Great. Whoops. No. Stop it. Um, let's see. How do we get to the next slide? Great. Thank you. So who are we? We're a social purpose corporation, and our mission is to increase productivity in life science R&D. Um, we're reducing the impact on living systems and the environment. Um, we've got an interdisciplinary team, Caroline, and who's up in the upper left there, and Jake, um, the upper right, our modelers, they're here. You can talk with them. Um, what they do is um, provide modeling services. So we integrate what our clients know about biology and, um, and uh, physics and mathematics of, of their systems, whatever we can find out from them in one integrated model. We simulate that on our, our simulation platform, which scales up to billions and billions of scale, uh, cells um, and uh, um, hundreds of computers. We're able to then look at the results using our BioVision visualization platform. Whoops, I'm sorry, once again. Um, we have three referenceable customers, Procter & Gamble, Institute for Systems Biology, and Celgene. Um, and our call to action, um, we're creating a consortium to build a pre-competitive clean meat modeling platform. Uh, we're calling that the best project. We're inviting clean meat companies to join this. Um, and uh, in exchange, get early access to the platform we'll develop over the next few years. And we're also looking for investors. Um, 
please contact us if you're interested in, in opportunities. And if you sign up at our table, you can receive a free Bessie project mug. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'm out of time. Yes, you are out of time, but I'll ask some quick questions. <laughs> So, um, very quick question. How do you know this will work? Well, we've um, worked in other industries for the last couple of years um, with Procter & Gamble. It's been mm -hmm. successful there. Um, and uh, actually, we think that this may be a, an easier system than, than some of the ones we work on, like cancer. Um, so we're, we're pretty confident that it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs>